Hey, what's going on, Collective? Hope you're doing well. Today we're in Romans chapter 13, where we learn about authorities. Um, and it kind of answers the question, like as Christians, what do we do with our earthly authorities, the people that are in charge, the people that are above us? Like, what do we do with that? Um, and so I'm going to be reading from chapter 13, verse, starting at verse 1 and 2. And it says this, The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, who... Ever, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. So whether this is an authority in your school, like a, a teacher or even a boss at your job, or even as high up as the President of the United States, the Bible is clear that we are instructed to submit to authority. Now I do believe there are a couple exceptions to this rule. For example, if your authority is leading you into sin or leading you to go against God, therefore you then would have the right to go against authority. But for the most part, we're called to respect and obey the authority's command. And this is an interesting issue uh, or topic because I, I think today, especially in today's season as the election season is, is approaching, everyone seems to have their opinion. And rightly so, but a question that I would encourage you to think about is whether you're a supporter of Obama or Trump or Hillary Clinton or whoever it might be, whatever your opinion is of whoever is in office, um, what would it look like if we spent more time praying for those individuals instead of just expressing our emotional and sometimes heated opinions? I mean, the Bible is clear that we are, we are called to submit to our authorities and we're also encouraged to be praying for them. So what does it look like as Christians for us to do that in today's world?